Hey, everybody. I've got a question for you. Are you mentally ready to retire? This is where I've seen a lot of people struggle with the concept of retirement and how to transition into retirement. So I thought I'd make a little video of thought-provoking things that we need to start looking at in that transition. And I'm a big fan of, of going through this about five years before you're going to retire because it's mentally going to help you in that transition. So first off, Let's go through some questions. We got to find a transition date, okay? So what is your career end date, right? We're graduating. It's time to move on from career life, right? So commit to a timeline. This will help you to start think thinking about that post-career life. It'll help you in that, that transition period of that life. Do you want to continue working? Okay, so here's the deal. I have to be okay with people wanting to continue to work, right? I I have to be okay with that because some people are just built that way. They have to have that that system, that 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 go 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 life. They they don't have to retire. So what does retirement look like for you? And no is a perfectly acceptable answer. But if there is a spouse or significant other involved, we have to all be on that same page. Some people, instead of working full-time, want to go part-time. Some people want to end their career and start a new one and, you know, do something else. That's that's okay. But thinking through this is what's going to help us be mentally prepared to retire. It helps in that process of, of changing the mentality. And then start dreaming, start thinking through these things, start talking to your significant others. If you left or could leave work today, today, I'm never coming back, what would you do? And that's one of the things that people find very liberating is financially, am I allowed to say I'm done, I'm out of here at any point? And it actually can make work more enjoyable the day you realize you don't have to be there. You only want to be there, and that is a mind shift all in its own. So you have to think about, if you could walk off the job today, what are you going to do? You've got to shift your eyes towards retirement and think about what you're going to do in retirement. Because sitting on the couch sounds really fun for a week or so, but at some point, you've got to have a life outside of work. Our lives for most of our big portion of our life is always work oriented. And that becomes really important that we are uh, transitioning that mindset into what is important to us. So we shift the thinking now. Once we start really thinking through that timeline of when we're getting out and setting a date and starting to to transition our mind, we got to shift that thinking, shift the thinking. So how, uh, how do you really feel about retirement in retirement life? Okay. This is a, look, a psychologist could sit and chat with you all day on this, but the reality is, is you have to be honest about your feelings. You have to be okay saying, I'm, I'm worried. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm going to do in retirement. I don't know if I have enough money in retire for, or to retire. There's so many things that can start coming out. So we have have to actually open up and talk about that. How do you feel about it? Oh, I don't want to be one of those old people just waiting to die. A lot of people enjoy their retirement life. That is not waiting to die. So we got to get these things out and we got to talk about these things. What brings you uh, value outside of work? So Look, for a lot of people, type A workaholic mentality is very difficult to leave work. Just drop it off cold turkey because it's so much of your life. You can you can say that, oh, family is important and all these hobbies are important. But how much of your daily life did it take up? Because for a lot of people, work has been the majority of their life and that work mentality. So we've got to start looking at what it is outside of work that we enjoy, that we have a reward system from, right? You do well at work. It's rewarding. We have to continue that for our mental sanity. So we have to start shifting our thinking and looking at what we enjoy outside of work, okay? And then go back to that same question. Imagine life without a career. What would you do? Okay, that's 
That sounds familiar, right? That was on the previous page because you have to have a plan. It can't just be, I have a bucket list because here's the thing. You can go on two big trips a year. What are you going to do for the other 300 and whatever days that you weren't on that vacation? What are you going to do? Are you going to sleep all day? Are you going to watch TV all day? So we have to look beyond that bucket list, that, that list, of, I want to travel. Well, that's easy to say. But traveling doesn't usually take up your entire retirement life. It's a highlight reel. That's wonderful. But we've got to think about the hobbies. We've got to think about um, the, the social outlets that we're going to have. Because whether you think you're a social being or not, it's been proven. All those blue zones, the social reliance on each other is what's so important. When you live in a community and you're all taking care of each other, this is really important. People rely on you and mentally that's rewarding and that helps us. So we've got to think through those social outlets, the family needs, you know, when you retire, are you going to be babysitting for the first five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 years, you know, so think through all this. You've got to think beyond the vacations. You've got to think about the day to day. And what you're going to do, do you enjoy gardening? Do you want to not take care of a house? How are you going to spend your time and what are you going to do? And think beyond that first month or so of, oh, I made it. Because after that month, we've got to stay active. We've got to be healthy. So what are our new priorities? Okay, well, when once we start looking at retirement, we have to prior, prioritize physical and emotional health. So that goes back to um, the social network and, and how you're going to stay social, right? And then physical, you've got to get out. My parents walk every day. You know, some people uh, swim and, and do uh, water aerobics, uh, golfing, whatever it is, you've got to find something that helps keep you active as well. Physical, it's not that you got to go work out every day. It's just that you've got to stay active, stay moving. Number two, find ways to engage your mind. This is so important. I don't care whether it's crossword puzzles or, or uh, card games with the friends or whatever the case may be, but learn something new. That's a part of the brain that needs exercise. Try to learn new things. Make it a goal to learn something new every month or something like that um, becomes really important for your mental health as well. Then focus on relationships and lean on your support network, okay? This is so important. Find a way to have people rely on you and you rely on other people. It's a little strange, uh, but this is really important to feel needed. It is. It just is. So knowing that you have the relationships out there and nurturing those relationships becomes really important. Being useful to them and them being useful to you is a key to an enjoyable retirement. Strange one, but it's true. Revisit the goals and bucket list with your partner. Okay, so if you have a partner, whether it's just a, a really good friend that you're retiring with or a spouse or otherwise, um, Go over your bucket list. Go over I want to's, I would love to's, all those types of things. Um, it's important to revisit that constantly. It's important to have a very long list, okay? Because if you get to the end of the list, it gets a little depressing. You don't want to finish this list unless it's your last day. Then finish it. That's that's important. And then communicate openly with your financial advisor. And, and look, I, I selfishly, I put this on here. I'm, I'm here as a wonderful resource to a lot of people. But it's, it, it's so important if you have a lot of anxiety about money, it shuts you down in retirement and you don't do things. And so the more you, uh, good financial advisors, the more you can open up and, and talk truthfully and, and take time to understand your situation monetarily, that's going to help free you up. Okay, there might be something you're thinking about that's just completely untrue that can be fixed, that 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 relieves the anxieties. So very important to have somebody to openly communicate that that isn't emotionally involved, that is outside of that uh, that living day to day, and that can help you understand your financial position and uh, and and reduce that anxiety on yourself. So mentally. You have to prepare for retirement. OK, 
Okay. Sometimes we get pushed into retirement before we're ready to retire. And that's okay. There are a lot of steps for that as well. But the reality is, is if we can choose our exit, then we can be much more prepared. And that's what this is about, is really trying to shift that mindset. So I hope this helps. I like making lots of different videos. If you have any ideas for me, shoot me an email or uh, give us a call or even comment below. We do pay attention to the comments. Uh, and I'm always happy to make new videos. So great to see everybody. Hope you all enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't. Share it with friends if you haven't. And we will see you next week. Mm -hmm.